Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to calculate averages using OpenOffice Calc. So I'm going to go ahead and open up OpenOffice Calc and in this first column on this second cell I'm going to type in Jan for January and then I'm going to use my autofill function here. So I'm going to click on this little black box here and I'm going to drag down to fill out all the dates from January to December. In this column here I'm going to give a title called wages. In the next one I'll do let's say fuel cost and in the last one I'll do telephone bill, something like this. And all of these, these three columns here need to be um, currency values so let's just space this out. So I'm going to select these three columns, right click, format cell, and I'm going to select currency here. And then I'm just going to add some values into here. We need some values to work from. So I'm just going to make this up. We'll just copy a few. And same with the fuel cost, I'm just going to add some costs in here. These will typically need to be, you know, at least a few different values. It can't be all the same value, but you can't really work out an average. Would it make sense? So, we'll just add some fuel costs here and telephone. So I'm just going to make these bold and in this cell here it would be nice to get a grand total of these values anyway so let's just put total here make that bold and then we use our auto sum function and then again we can click here and drag across to get all of our grand totals and below this we want to do our average so to do averages we're going to click on this function wizard and in the categories we're going to need to select statistical and we're going to click on average here this option here we're going to click next and then we're going to highlight these cells here with our mouse and then we we'll click OK and this will give us the average of these values so I'm going to scroll across here and work out all the averages so these will be all the averages from this particular set of data you know another easy way of doing that is just to look at this let's say this 17,100 if you had a calculator you could do 17,100 and there's 12 months so divide that by 12 and you'll get 1425, 1425. So you can do that by calculator, but if you auto sum, you can get the, the average, you can work, sorry, the, the, the grand total, and you can work out the averages using this function, or simply take the value and divide it by 12, or, or how many uh, rows of data you have in here, depends on the rows of data. But use this function here, it's a lot quicker. Okay, hope that all makes sense. That's how to calculate averages. We also did totals here as well, but this tutorial is based on averages. Look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.